the middle child. And so Patrick and I feel a responsibility of sorts to, as the oldest and youngest, to tease her whenever the opportunity presents itself. I promised Megan that I wouldn't today. So I'll just say that Patrick and I knew for sure that Nick was a keeper. Um, when the first holiday season he spent with us, he came to the dinner table and contributed his own Megan story to our never-ending catalog. And then we knew it was good. <laughs> Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Before I get started, I just want to say, I asked Nick before I started writing anything, if there was anything I couldn't say. So, Megan, this is really his fault. So, uh, by the way, I'd like to point out that Megan looks radiant today, every bit the beautiful bride. Well, my mother always told me, though, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything, else, don't say anything at all. So, Nick, sorry about that. <laughs> for those of you who don't know me, my name is Tom DeMarco. And for those of you that do, shh. But really, I've known Nick for almost 25 years, actually 27 years to be exact. And I met Nick at Little Youth Daycare Center. I noticed Nick in the uh, dirt, pulling girls' hair and playing around, and I said, this is my kind of guy. <laughs> and, and, and that day on, it was sleepovers and a building of a bond between myself and a new family. I have shared some of the most amazing memories of my life with Nick's families. But it's hard for me to believe that this kid that had a huge impact on the man that I am today is getting married this afternoon. But I've known him for what seems forever, and I've had the pleasure of knowing Megan for the past few years. And I can't think of a better couple between you two at all. You're both wonderful people, and I count it a blessing to call you my friends. So uh, another note, uh, a funny memory about Nick is uh, Nick really didn't like to drink a lot. And when Nick started drinking, uh, he would pass out in the bathroom every night with a blanket and a, and a pillow. So I called room service. You're set up for tonight. There's a blanket and a pillow. No problem at all. Mr. and Mrs. Lawson, um, but it requires a little bit of a preface. I think most of this side of the room knows our family's house is right on the highway, so it's pretty noisy at night, and I don't really remember noticing it growing up, except for one time in the spring, I had the windows open, and the noise from the street kept me up that night, and I had nightmares that a witch was going to climb in my second story bedroom window. Um, I think I was six or seven, so Megan was... 11 or 12, um, and I could not sleep at all. I was convinced she was coming. And so I walked across the hallway to Megan's room, and I knocked on the door and woke her up, and I, I did not just cry. Um, so she came back into my room, and she started moving all the blankets around on my bed, and I didn't know what she was doing. Um, and so after a minute, she had made a big oval ring around the perimeter of my bed. And she then said to sit in the middle of it. And so then she told me that as long as I was inside of the ring, they couldn't get me. So she went back to her room and I stopped crying and I fell asleep. And I think I left them like that for like a month. <laughs> so uh, in addition to joy and happiness and health, I hope that when life does get a little scary, that you will always take time to make a ring out of the blankets and to sit in the center of it, especially if a witch tries to climb in the window. And so this is Megan, so it would not be complete without an Irish blessing. So, to Megan and Nick, be you rich or poor, quick or slow, may you know nothing but happiness from this day forward. And may the joys of today 
be those of tomorrow. Megan and Nick. We all profess a Catholic life and we have a Catholic spirituality and you are living that by your presence here today. And that's what you hope to grow in. And as we grow older, we hope always to grow deeper in love, as Father has mentioned, that love be your guide. But a word about the spirituality that you're living and will grow deeper in. For anyone, it's a quality to be truly human. All of our relationships, we have many here, are meant to express, to reflect God's great love for us. True love has the ability to transform, and not only to transform us, but to transform the world. The day you are professing and witnessing to that love by your most solemn and sacred promises to each other consenting to a life that will hold both the pleasures of love, but also moments of sadness. But there's a dynamic power in the sacrament that can see you through whatever difficulties come your way. There is a saying, you may not like it right now, that your love might see you, might not see you always through a difficulty, but your marriage will. Marriage is a state of love, a sacramental state, and God is in that sacramental state, so God can see you through that. The vows you will speak shortly promise companionship and support, as well as the challenge, but love also. Megan. Thank you, Nicholas. Thank you, Nicholas. For my lawful husband. For my lawful husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better for worse. For better for worse. For richer for poor. For richer for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. Until death do us part. Until death do us part. Hi, Nicholas. Take you, Megan. Take you, Megan. For my lawful wife. For my lawful wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better for worse. For better for worse. For richer for poor. For richer for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. Until death do us part. Until death do us part. daughter is a gift of love. Daughters are like flowers, they fill the world with beauty. And a daughter is the happy memories of the past, the joyful memories of the present, and the hope and promise of the future. And Megan, you are all of these. And it is said, if you would have a good wife, marry one who has been a good daughter. So Nick, we know you will have a good wife because Megan has been and is a good daughter. Yes. Yes. If you come here of your own free will. Yes. Is this exactly what you want to do? Yes. Will you promise to love, honor, and respect this woman as your wife for the rest of your life? Yes. So be it, Nicholas.
idea of your own free will? Yes. Is this exactly what you want to do? Yes. Will you love, honor, and respect this man yours, your husband, for the rest of your life? I will. So be it. Will you take this ring? Will you take this ring? As a sign. As a sign. Of my love. Of my love. And my fidelity. And my fidelity. I do. Now you're going to bless your wife by saying in the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. You will finish. Perfect. Again, holding your left hands. Now you're going to take your husband's ring. And that's a good word, isn't it? Husband, yes. finally. Yes. Yeah, your husband, finally. All right. So now you will ask him the same question. Nicholas. Nicholas. Will you take this ring? Will you take this ring? As a sign. As a sign. Of my love. Of my love. And my fidelity. And my fidelity. I do. And now you bless your husband, placing the ring on his finger, repeating these words in the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. As your great grand uncle said to you, you have a transformative love. I want you to fight for your marriage. I want you to do everything for the sake of your marriage. Remember what he said to you. It's your marriage that will carry you through your lives. Now I'm going to ask your mothers, from whom you receive life, to light the wedding candle. And you will come forward after them and light your own, starting your own journey. You have declared your consent before the church. May the Lord in his goodness strengthen your consent and fill you both with his blessings. What God has joined, humans must not divide. so as to move mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give away everything I own, and if I hand my body over so that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient, love is kind. It is not jealous, it is not pompous. It is not inflated, it is not rude. It does not seek its own interests. It is not quick-tempered. It does not brood over injury. It does not rejoice over wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails. This is a most sacred day that we celebrate together, uh, always uh, through your love. And we ask you to continue to bless us all with your love, to bless our evening here at the table and uh, on after that. But most especially to bless Megan and Nick in their life together, their, all their future that awaits them. May it be a glorious one. And uh, may you always... Uh, have a strong and wonderful part in it uh, as we have prayed today and uh, may we always continue to grow uh, closer to one another and especially to them
nothing is more practical than finding God, than falling in love in a quite absolute final way. What you are in love with, what seizes your imagination, will affect everything. It will decide what will get you out of bed in the morning, what you do with your evenings, how you spend your weekends, what you read, whom you know, what breaks your heart, and what amazes you with joy and gratitude. Fall in love, stay in love, and it will decide everything.